Hello everyone, today I will show you how to configure Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DHCP, on a Huawei switch. DHCP is an IP address allocation protocol. It supports two IP address allocation mechanisms. Dynamic allocation. This allocation mechanism is used to allocate IP addresses to common hosts on the network without manual intervention. It improves allocation efficiency. Static allocation. This allocation mechanism is used to allocate IP addresses to hosts with special IP address requirements. For example, the administrator can manually allocate an IP address to a file server that needs to communicate with external networks. DHCP can also allocate other network parameters, such as the DNS server address and gateway address to hosts on the network. DHCP networking involves three roles. DHCP server. A DHCP server uses DHCP to allocate IP addresses and other network parameters to clients. Huawei switches can function as DHCP servers. DHCP client. DHCP clients are terminals such as PCs and telephones. They request IP addresses from a DHCP server. DHCP relay agent. This role is optional. A DHCP relay agent is deployed to forward DHCP packets only when the DHCP server and the DHCP clients are on different network segments. Now let's see how to configure a DHCP server. A DHCP server can be configured based on an interface address pool or a global address pool. First, let's see how to configure a DHCP server based on an interface address pool. This configuration is simple and can be used when the DHCP server and the DHCP client are on the same network segment. As shown in the figure, no DHCP relay agent exists between the DHCP server and DHCP clients. The configuration roadmap includes three steps. 1. Enable DHCP and the DHCP server. 2. Enter the view of GE0-0-1. Create an interface address pool and configure the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to DHCP clients from the interface address pool. 3. Configure related network parameters in the interface address pool. Now let's see how to configure a DHCP server based on a global address pool. This configuration can be used when the DHCP server and the DHCP client are on the same network segment or different network segments. This configuration is more complex than the configuration based on an interface address pool. Therefore, it is usually used when the DHCP server and the DHCP client are on different network segments. As shown in the figure, there is a DHCP relay agent between the DHCP server and DHCP clients. The configuration roadmap includes three steps. 1. Enable DHCP on the switch. 2. Create a global address pool and configure related network parameters. 3. Enter the view of GE0-0-1 that is connected to the DHCP relay agent and configure the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to DHCP clients from the global address pool. Note that routes between the DHCP server and the DHCP relay agent must be configured so that they can communicate with each other. Finally, let's see how to configure a DHCP relay agent. As shown in the preceding figure, a DHCP relay agent must be configured in addition to the DHCP server. The DHCP relay agent configuration includes two steps. 1. Enable DHCP and the DHCP relay agent. 2. Enter the view of GE0-0-1 that is connected to DHCP clients. Configure an IP address for the interface. Enable DHCP Relay and configure the DHCP server address on the interface. Note that routes between the DHCP server and the DHCP Relay agent must be configured so that they can communicate with each other. Next, let's see how to configure a DHCP server based on an interface address pool. Enter the system view and run the DHCP Enable command to enable DHCP. Enter the view of GE0-0-1 and run the undo port switch command to switch the interface from layer 2 mode to layer 3 mode. Configure an IP address for the interface.
and run the DHCP select interface command to configure the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to DHCP clients from the interface address pool. The interface address pool containing IP addresses on the network segment 10.1.1.0 is created. We can then configure the interface address pool. For example, configure the IP address of the DNS server. In this example, set the IP address of the DNS server to 10.1.1.2. Configure the lease of IP addresses in the interface address pool. If the lease expires, the DHCP server reclaims the IP addresses. This command involves three parameters, day, hour, and minute. In this example, set them to 2, 3, and 4 respectively. Considering future network expansion, we may need to run the DHCP server exclude IP address command to exclude some IP addresses and do not allocate them to terminals. In the command, if we specify only one IP address, then this IP address is excluded. If we specify two IP addresses, for example 10.1.1.20 and 10.1.1.30, then the 11 IP addresses from 10.1.1.20 to 10.1.1.30 are excluded. We can also run the DHCP server static bind command to allocate a fixed IP address to a host. This IP address allocation mode is called static IP address allocation. Now the configuration of a DHCP server based on the interface address pool is complete. Next, let's check the configuration. Run the display this command in the interface view to check the interface configuration. We can see that related parameters have been configured, and the DHCP server has been configured to allocate IP addresses to DHCP clients from the interface address pool. We can also run the display IP pool interface GE0 0 1 command to check the configuration of the interface address pool. The disable field displays the number of excluded IP addresses. The used field displays the number of statically allocated IP addresses. We can also see other parameters, such as the IP address lease and the IP address of the DNS server. Now let's see how to configure a DHCP server based on a global address pool. Enter the system view and run the DHCP enable command to enable DHCP. Run the IP pool command to create a global address pool named pool1. Run the network command to specify the network segment. 10.1.1.0 for the global address pool and set IP address mask to 255.255.255.0. After creating the global address pool, configure related parameters. Run the DNS list command to specify an IP address for the DNS server. In this example, set the DNS server address to 10.1.1.2. Run the gateway list command to allocate the gateway address 10.1.1.1 to a host from the global address pool. Run the lease command to configure the IP address lease for the global address pool. In this example, set the values of day, hour, and minute in the command to 2, 3, and 4 respectively. Run the exclude IP address command to exclude IP addresses not to be allocated from the global address pool. Run the static buying command to allocate a fixed IP address to a specified host. After completing the preceding configurations, exit from the global address pool view. Enter the view of GE0-0-1. And run the undo port switch command to switch the interface from layer 2 mode to layer 3 mode. Configure an IP address for the interface. Run the DHCP select global command to configure the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to DHCP clients from the global address pool. Now the configuration of a DHCP server based on the global address pool is complete. Now let's check the configuration. Run the display IP pool name command to check the configuration of the global address pool, pool 1.
the Disable field displays the number of excluded IP addresses. The Used field displays the number of statically allocated IP addresses. We can also see other parameters such as the IP address lease and the IP address of the DNS server. Finally, let's see how to configure a DHCP relay agent. Enter the system view and run the DHCP enable command to enable DHCP. Enter the view of GE0-0-1 and run the undo port switch command to switch the interface from layer 2 mode to layer 3 mode. Configure an IP address for the interface and ensure that the IP address is on the same network segment as the IP address is in the global address pool. Run the DHCP select relay command to enable DHCP relay. Run the DHCP relay server IP command to configure the IP address of the DHCP server. Now the configuration of the DHCP relay agent is complete. Next, let's check the configuration. Run the display this command on the interface. We can see that IP addresses of the interface and the DHCP server are configured and DHCP relay is enabled on the interface. That's all about how to configure a DHCP server and a DHCP relay agent. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter All About Switches site Huawei.com in the search field of Google and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.